Travis Bell out of Kennesaw State University in Georgia is going to be a fan favorite and a huge impact on and off the field for the Chicago Bears. The six foot, 300 pound defensive tackle may not be the tallest defensive tackle, but man, he is going to be something special. Ever heard of Kennesaw State? Me either. Because he is the first player ever drafted out of there. And after receiving multiple offers during college to go to bigger programs, he turned them all down. Why? Because he wanted to build a dynasty for himself and Kennesaw State. And that is something very special that Ryan Poles and Bears fans should be super pumped about because he's coming to Chicago, who's trying to rebuild something, and he could have probably gone other places, could have waited, could have asked to be traded or anything else, because he definitely has the talent, and he's going to bring that to Chicago, and it's going to be special. Ryan Bowles and Matt Eberfuss were even obsessed with this guy that they didn't want him to leave House Hall during, during his pre-draft interview. Picked in the seventh round, he's going to perform at a much higher expectation than that, and I'm going to break down why. Hello, everyone. I go back to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Ryan Bowles didn't want this guy to leave House Hall during his pre-draft interview. And that says something for sure. I am so excited about this pick. Also, something else I'm super excited about. We are about to hit 1 million total views on Just Another Year Chicago on YouTube. I cannot thank you all enough. When we officially hit it, we're going to have our biggest giveaway yet. And also, I just want to thank you guys again. I was this close to giving up on this channel a few months ago as I just felt like it wasn't doing what I wanted to do for you guys. But with your amazing support, you guys have helped me keep going, and I'm excited for what we have in store. This summer and this fall is going to be crazy, and we're going to have all the news here for you guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, you automatically enter the 1 million view giveaway, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's get into it. The six foot, 300 pound defensive tackle out of Kennesaw State is built like the Hulk. This dude will go through anyone that's in front of him at complete ease. An arm length of 32 and 5 eighth inches, 10 inch diameter hands, bigger than Darnell Wright, a 5.01 40 time according to NFL.com. He doesn't need speed. He just needs to be the wall that he is. A 1.71 10 yard sprint, a 32 and a half inch vertical for a defensive lineman is absurdly athletic and crazy. And here's the craziest one. He benched 225 pounds, 32 times in a row at the combine. That is absolute brute strength, something that the Chicago Bears truly need, and he is going to throw offensive linemen off him like ragdolls. In 2022, he played in 11 games with 34 total tackles, five and a half tackles for loss, one and a half sacks, and one pass deflection. His great size and length is something that the Bears defensive line needs. He can take down anyone, especially from afar, and also his size, uh, just absolutely being a wall, is someone that you don't want to mess with. I talked about about that brute strength and benching 225 pounds 32 times in a row. He is insanely fast as well with that speed. He is explosive off the snap, according to NFL scouts, and he is going to make a lot of running backs and quarterbacks' lives absolute nightmares when they're on the field. And they're not going to be able to sleep the whole week when they see Chicago coming up next week on their schedule. Big hands that can cause blocks, block visions, potentially even fumbles, but also gives him the ability to throw off Lyman with his crazy fast feet and strong hands and make his ability of tackling that much better. The best part about him, in my opinion, is that he is a locker room guy that kind of reminds me of Anthony Adams. As many of you know, Spice Adams. He helps keep teammates in line. He makes people want to play harder and is a great motivator. Every team needs that. He doesn't need to be an all-star, but I think that he has the ability to do something insanely special, especially coming out of the seventh round. He is going to be special on this team, and I know I said the next Aaron Donald, you never know. Any any given Sunday, any guy gets the opportunity, he can take advantage of it. Thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. Again, make sure you look out for that million view giveaway. It's coming up fast. We're closing right in on it, but with that, thank you very much for joining this episode of Just Another Year Chicago. My name is Nick Rohde, and we'll see you guys next time.